hey guys in this video i am going to talk about how to apply for jobs in the tech industry as a ui ux designer so as we all know here yeah, the market is changing but there is one thing that is also changing that i think we are not paying enough attention to and that is the way in which jobs are being applied for so without wasting time i would want us to look at the things we need as ui ux designers to apply for jobs differently in the fast changing market of today now first things first you need a ui ux designer's social media presence now what i mean by this is simple if someone goes to any of your social media accounts that person should be able to say this is a ui ux designer now i'm going to show you an example of a social media account on Twitter or X as we call it today that fits what I'm talking about. Now let's head over to this profile on Twitter. Now this profile is owned by Louis Nguyen. Now anybody who comes here would know that this person is a UI UX designer because you can see it all over the account. Now this is all I'm trying to say when I say you need a UI UX designer's social media presence. Now, it is one thing to always post what you design on your social media account, right? But it's another thing to post it and present it well. Now, how do we do that? Now, my recommendation to you is this. I would advise you to start adding motion in posts that you put out there on your social media accounts. And what do I mean by adding motion? Let's see an example of that. Let's come here. Now, if you look at this post on this account right this is a design post as you can see motion is added and what type of motion interaction right this is this person presenting this design the way the design will be used now why is this important it is catchy as simple as that that's why it's important this is more interesting to anyone who would see it than this this right is more interesting than this now Let's see another account, another social media account where motion is added to the designs that they create. Now, this is another social media account by Nikki Pyle on Twitter. As you can see, the motion that's added here makes the presentation to be more interesting. Let's go to another social media account on Twitter. This is a post from Tremor Labs. As you can see, motion is added to this design and it makes it more interesting. If we go to another account, this is from Damn Good UI. This also looks more interesting. The presentation is more interesting than just posting an image. Now, let's look at another thing you can do to your social media account or to your social media profiles to make it more UI UX designerish, right? Now, one thing you can also do is to come up with a personal design challenge for yourself. And I'd recommend that to everyone watching this video come up with a 10-day design challenge it doesn't have to be 100 or 20 just come up with a 10-day design challenge for yourself and pin that design challenge to your twitter profile let that be your pinned tweet on linkedin you can also make that a featured post on linkedin now the 10-day design challenge should happen from day one to day 10 each day you create a design now the design doesn't have to be a full application you can just design a dashboard and then implement the interaction for adding a client to the application or adding a new user. You know, that, that flow alone, right, can just be all you do for day one. For day two, you do maybe uh, resetting password. That could be another flow for day two. Now, you can say, okay, day three, let us design the sign-up flow for a mobile application. You design that, you add motion to it, then you present it on social media. So that's another way to improve your presence, to improve your relevance on social media as a UI UX designer. Right? Now, what next can we do? The next thing we can do is to have a very interesting Behance profile. That's the next thing we can do. Now, how do we do that? I would recommend that you become the worst critic of yourself. Go to your Behance profile. Take out the designs that are not very interesting. Leave the ones that are interesting. And then take it upon yourself to create new designs that will be posted on your Behance profile. 
Now, you might decide to take the 10 day challenge designs and still put them on your Behance profile. That's still perfect. But I would recommend a new format for posting designs on Behance. Now, we are not trying to carry out a full user research on Behance. The goal is to show that, yes, this is what we can deliver. This is the solution we can deliver for this particular type of problem, which means we can actually come up with better solutions. So you should hire us. So I think a new way to present in a project on Behance is what we should be looking out for. And this is my own recommendation. Now, have you ever had the thought of presenting your application using a, using a story-like format, which is going to be as simple as this. Let's say this is me trying to create a case study that I want to put out there on Behance. I'm not going to have any uh, user persona or any of that. I won't have it. All I'm just going to have at the top of the presentation is Jessica needs a hotel booking app. Now, this is me putting a user in the mix. I am putting it, I am like I'm making it about a user, which is what products are all about, right? Products are all about users. Jessica needs a hotel booking app. Now, that's what this user needs. That's the problem of this user. How am I solving it? From this screen, flow to this screen, then we can flow to another screen. Now, this is me creating a mini movie that shows the user flow of how Jessica is using our solution, right? And in each step of the user flow, I am presenting a screen I have designed that will help Jessica to achieve their goals in each step of my user flow. Now that we have seen that, what else do we need to do to increase our chances of getting a job in this day and time? I would also say that you should have more AI projects. So start designing more AI projects. And when I mean more AI projects, I don't mean you should start designing ChatGPT or apps like ChatGPT. You can design any regular app. Whether it's a hotel listing app, you can design that and implement AI, maybe AI in the search, or you can implement AI in one of the services in the app. Now, when you have all of this, I think you can start applying for jobs when you have all of this, from having a very solid social media account that shows that you are UI, that you are a UI UX designer, to having more motion in your social media posts and also partaking in that 10-day challenge I have talked about, then upping your Behance profile and making sure you present your designs better. And uh, having more AI projects, I believe if you have all of these, then you can start applying for jobs. Now, how do we apply for jobs? It's simple. Go to Y Combinator. If you go to Y Combinator, there is a, there is a job board here. Startup jobs, click on all jobs. When you go to all jobs, when you come here, then you can filter the type of jobs you are looking for. Now, in our own case, we are trying to look out for design and UI UX design jobs. So I would come here and I would filter the result here by clicking on design and UI UX. When I click on that, I'm going to see a list of design jobs here on Y Combinator. Now, Y Combinator is a company that funds startups. They fund startups. So what you'd see here on their job board will be UI UX design jobs from the startups that they are currently funding. So all the startups here are funded startups. So you can see this job was posted 19 minutes ago, 3 minutes ago, 1 hour ago, 2 hours ago, 2 hours ago, 39 minutes ago. So there are always jobs being posted here. So how do you apply? Create a profile, right? Create a profile and apply for the jobs here. Now when creating a profile, Take your time and make sure the profile is very solid. Now, this is me making an announcement. For those who will be interested in having a UI UX design masterclass with Dev and Design, there is a link in the description of this video. Click on that link. When you go to that form, just fill the form and we are going to reach out to you. So that's my announcement. So when you come here, create a profile. And when you create the profile, use the profile to apply for any of the jobs here that you want to apply for. Now, how do you see the application through? It's one thing to apply for a job. It's another thing to see the application through, right? Now, how do we do that? It's very simple. Now, let's imagine that I apply for a job 
like I apply for a product designer job at Nash, right? When I apply for this job at Nash, I would go to my LinkedIn and I would search for Nash. Now, when I type Nash in the search bar, I would come here and I would filter this with company. And as you can see, this is the Nash company here. So what I'm going to do is I would come here, I would open the profile. When I open the profile, I would go to people. When I go to people, then I would see persons working at Nash. As you can see, growth at Nash, software engineer at Nash, product at Nash. Now, since this is somebody product team, I can reach out to maybe that person. Right, I can reach out to that person and say, okay, I just applied for the role of product designer at Nash. Here is my work. Then you send them a link that will take them to your work. And I would recommend if you have a very good motion presentation of your work, you send them that one to make it more interesting and flashy. Now, how many jobs are you supposed to apply for in a day? I would recommend you apply to three or four jobs a day. And before you start applying for jobs, make sure you have a very good portfolio of great designs. Now, I'll make another announcement, right? And the announcement is still me saying that if you'd like to be a part of our UI UX Design Masterclass, click the link in the description to fill the form. And we are going to get back to you after you fill the form. And for those who will be willing to join our UI UX Design bootcamp for 2025 the announcement for that will be out soon the date for that will be out soon so please be on the lookout and follow us on twitter follow us on instagram follow us on tiktok follow us on linkedin and even on youtube thank you very much and thank you very much